Here on the set of Spider Island, it's Theater Albany's latest performance, kicks off on Thursday, but we've been getting a little sneak peek of behind the scenes action here live at Theater Albany. Here to join us is Mark Costello, and you have been working tirelessly to make sure the cast and the crew and the set and everything goes off great on Thursday. Absolutely, absolutely, and we're getting there to the point where it's just going to be all ready on Thursday. Wonderful. We are so excited. You have two weeks of performances. Mm-hmm. We uh, open this Thursday, play Thursday through Sunday, and then the following week play Thursday through Sunday. And the Sundays are matinees. Everything else is in the evening. There you go. So people like me who have to go to bed at a crazy early hour in the afternoon still have a chance to come out and see yes, it. absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. And now, Steve down there, he has been working tirelessly to make sure this set is beautiful. Is it done? Is it ready for Thursday? It will be ready Thursday. <laughs> The cast comes in every day and they go, oh, there's something different. So there's a little bit each day. We're still some details to finish up. But. It's a surprise even to them. There you go. And now here to join us, we've got a couple of the wonderful ladies of the cast. It's Courtney and Abby. And Abby, you play a character named Dully. And Courtney, you play Patsy. She's one of the sisters, is that correct? No, she's Star's best friend. Oh. And Star is the niece of the Mayos. There you go. So tell me a little bit about both of your roles. Um, I guess you could call my role the comic relief. <laughs> um, she's very sarcastic, but when she needs to be scared, she is very scared. I can imagine. Though this is definitely a very little suspenseful play that you'll have. You mentioned that you have a hard time falling asleep at night. <laughs> I do. Um, we don't get out of rehearsals till 10, and then I live 15 minutes away. <laughs> so I don't go to bed till 11 something. <laughs> and all those bumps in the night, I'm sure, just carry back onto your home. Yes. <laughs> now, Abby, tell me about your character. Um, I play Dully Peabody. I'm the maid for the Mayos, um, and I've been living here basically all my life. Um, it's a small role, but I know a lot of the backstory, so it's very pivotal. There you go. Now, this is a very suspenseful, kind of spooky thriller, so how does that carry on into your characters? Um, I'm not as scared about things <laughs> as Courtney's character, but um, some things scare me. I don't want to give away too much, but um, I do get scared in the play. Definitely intrigued. You're going to have to come out here on Thursday to see it. But Kathleen, you are here. You're one of the characters. Been with Theater Albany for about 16 years now. Why should people come out and see this performance? Oh, because they don't know what they're missing if they don't come. Because I think this is one of the treasures of Albany. Mm -hmm. And it's just great entertainment. Certainly. And so... People who don't come are missing out on a great deal. Absolutely. Again, 80 years of performances. Yes. Kicking off the 80th anniversary season, what do you have in store after this performance? Okay, coming up in December, we have the little town of Christmas. Mm -hmm. In the new year, we have the member of the wedding by Carson McCullers, who is a native uh, from Columbus. Wonderful. And then a comedy called Fox on the Fairway. And we close out with a sort of science fiction rock and roll musical called Return to the Forbidden Planet. Wow. Well, you just do a little bit of everything and we don't stop. <laughs> right. We try to mix it up, try to mix it up. And the other appeal to the Spider Island is people love mysteries and they mm. love thrillers. So that's that's the drawing point. There you go. All right. Well, the box office isn't open today, but people right. can come on tomorrow and yeah, get some. Tuesday uh, through Friday from 12 noon to 4 p.m. And then one hour prior to curtain, they can come buy tickets. Mm -hmm. We'll definitely get your tickets. I am certainly intrigued and going to find out all about this performance. It's certainly going to be a great one. Live here at the Theater Albany. Back to you all in the studio. Mm -hmm.